cats are great. They are these beautiful, floofy carnivores we keep in our homes and enjoy their presence, at times almost certainly more than they enjoy ours. They provide cuddles and have toe beans, and they are pretty cool. But have you ever wondered why they seem to be attracted to boxes, like their hair is attracted to literally any item of clothing? Well, let me show you. First, put down a box. It can be big enough for it to get inside, or not quite. Then wait. And hey, presto, you have caught yourself a cat. But why do cats love boxes? Today, we're going to find out. Unfortunately, we cannot just ask a cat why it does what it does. Excuse me, sir, why do you like boxes so much? Sir? But we can look at other clues that may indicate what's going on and draw conclusions based on that. Cats and humans are different. We have different needs, but in some ways we are also very similar in that we have well, similar needs. Let me explain. Stress is stressful. We feel stress. Cats also feel stress. Kassler and Turner put together a cat stress score. They analysed what a cat at various states of stress would be doing, how its body would be positioned, what behaviours it might be demonstrating, and what its various body parts might be doing. For example, a fully relaxed cat is likely to be laid out on its side or back with its legs extended, belly exposed, breathing slowly, and resting, whereas a terrified cat is likely to be crouched directly on top of all fours, shaking, breathing quickly with its eyes alert, possibly growling. There are a series of steps from terrified to fully relaxed that can be used to give a cat stress score. This series of characteristics has proven helpful in studying stress levels in cats. Which brings us to our first reason why cats love boxes. Boxes can reduce stress. How do we know this? Well, in 2014, researchers Vinky, Gojin and Vandalij conducted a study with shelter cats. Cats can experience serious stress in shelters, so understanding how to make them more relaxed can be helpful for their health and well-being. The researchers looked at newly arrived cats to a shelter and randomly split them into two groups and placed them in their shelter cages. One group was given a box and the other was not. Over two weeks, observations were taken using a camera so that the researchers didn't disturb the cats impacting the study. The researchers found at the beginning of the two weeks, they all started with a similar high level of stress. They were in a totally new space with other cats in the same area, probably sounding quite stressed as well. And at the end of the two weeks, cats from both groups had all settled in and had a much lower stress score, a, a similar level. But the group that were given the boxes achieved a much more relaxed score in just a few days where it took the group without boxes a lot longer. The researchers concluded that the boxes were a significant factor in reducing the stress levels for the cats that were given them. Boxes help cats relieve stress. And this makes sense. It's not uncommon for cats to spend 18 or more hours a day sleeping. Sleeping makes an animal vulnerable, so having a place to hide away, like a cave or a hollow log or a box, would be beneficial. Also, cats are predators and are ambush hunters, so it would make sense to want to have a place where they can observe and watch for prey. Boxes fill this need. But Cat's love affair with boxes may have multiple dimensions to it. Let's talk about thermoneutral zones. The thermoneutral zone is defined as a range of temperature in which a warm-blooded organism can maintain its body temperature through dry heat loss. And dry heat loss being when blood near the surface of the skin is used to take away heat. An animal in the thermoneutral zone doesn't need to produce sweat to use evaporation to cool down, and it doesn't need to use energy to produce more heat. The temperature is just at the right temperature that an animal's body doesn't need to work hard to maintain it. Humans have a thermoneutral zone when naked of somewhere between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius. If we are lightly clothed, that number drops to somewhere between 22 and 24 degrees Celsius. And if we wear more insulated clothing, that 
number will continue to drop. Cats are different to us though. Their thermoneutral zone is between 30 and 38 degrees Celsius, which is around 10 degrees Celsius more than humans. Cats prefer things warmer than we do and will often seek out warmer spots such as in the sun or in the case of my cats when the heating is on, a spot as high as possible because heat rises. Boxes provide a good insulator. It plays the role almost of clothes or blankets do for us. The temperature inside a box is likely to be warmer than the air temperature around it. It's sheltered from the wind or drafts and it will trap some of the heat a cat's body will produce. Cats may therefore be also attracted to boxes because it provides them a more comfortable temperature. So whilst the mind of a cat is unknowable, we can look at clues as to why they do what they do. We know that boxes reduce stress and provide a warmer position for them to enjoy because they prefer their environment to be warmer than we humans do. Boxes are good for cats, so don't feel bad about leaving boxes around for your cats to enjoy and make sure you have plenty of box-like environments for them to enjoy. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it tickled your curiosity and satisfactorily answered today's question. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to know in the comments below and with that like button and I also invite you to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool if you haven't done so already where I explore facts and questions about things which fill me with curiosity and wonder. Thanks again for watching, take care, stay curious and I'll see you next time. <laughs> that was, that was, that was like 10 seconds. <laughs>